Wes and Zane. How's it going, boys? Good, man. What's going on, dude? How's y'all's week? It's been pretty good. Got some uh, cool stuff, sent out a bunch of invoices. It's been pretty dope. Invoices are fun. <laughs> when they're paid. Yeah. yeah. It's no good until it's paid. <laughs> exactly. Well, cool. Why don't you, uh, appreciate you doing this, by the way. Why don't you start by just talk, talking about who you are and, and what you do, where you're from, all that good stuff. Okay. I'm Zane. Um, I'm Wes's partner at the Stew. Uh, and, in my, life. and in life. <laughs> um, so we kind of go back and forth on operating the Stew. It's, uh, you know, we kind of just take our strong suits and, and we kind of just push those. So if I'm, if I'm feeling something one day, we roll with it. If he's doing something one day, we just sit back and kind of let each other take over. Um, I do a lot of like the instrumentation side and um, it just, that's just kind of where my, my mind kind of thinks more. So, uh, so that's kind of how we kind of, kind of run that. But yeah, it's been, um, it's been a lot of fun working with, with Wes and everybody. So it's been cool. Uh, we're also from Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, you know, it's just, it's been, you know, fun attacking the alternative rock, alternative pop world, because there's not a whole lot of bands here that really fit that mold. But it's been exciting to find, to find out that there's not, like, not only did a lot of people not really know what it was specifically, but just that there were a lot more people interested in doing that than I originally expected. So it's been super fun. Sweet. So alternative pop producers. Um, and yeah, y'all happen to have, have a, have a commercial studio as well, which is, which is cool. Um, why did you decide to, uh, start working with me? Why, why did you reach out and, uh, what was kind of your thought process on that? Um, <clears throat> we've probably been doing studio work out of apartments or houses or the, the space for, about a year or so before we reached out and we were just like it was it was like you know one of those things where you book a local band and then you're busy for a couple of weeks and then you're done and that's finished and you're just done until another local until that comes out and that could take months or you know you you're also limited to the local market and so like I don't hate metal, but it resulted in a lot of like recording a lot of metal or a lot of hip hop or a lot of hardcore stuff when my big interest, our big interest was, was pop or alternative pop or, you know, even more just re like focused on like alternative rock where the songs are just super important instead of like, oh man, this guitar riff in seven, eight is going to do all this cool stuff. Um, and so I was in the Make Pop Music group and saw Austin and, and Mark and you just killing it. And I was like, okay, I have, I have to know. Like, I know that we don't suck, but, like, I don't understand where all the business is coming from for everyone because everyone's busy. Everyone's always busy. And it looks yeah. – because I was like, fuck, this is dope. So, um I just, I couldn't, I had, I was like, no, we gotta, we gotta talk to him. We gotta, we gotta see what he does because I want to be busy. Yeah. Awesome. Right on. Uh, well, tell me how, see y'all probably a little over a month in. Um, tell me how things have been going uh, w with the business, what new things that have happened. Uh, tell me about that. Um, one of the biggest things so far that like I, I'm really stoked on is, mindset and um because i was the biggest um, um opposition of wes about charging more or being able to charge more or you know us not being good enough for what people are paying and then you know after speaking through some things with you we were able to to go all right we are worth way more than what we are valuing ourselves at so uh that's been really cool because obviously it makes your pocket bigger, not really, but, um, <laughs> but you see it monetarily, but it just, it feels good to, to not stress over, am I doing something perfect all the time? 
I'm going to give somebody the best I can and with, with what we have and kind of go from there. I just think the mindset at the stew has is, is changed a bunch. Um, and it's been really cool. So Love it. Um, tell me about uh, um, the, the results so far. Um, I know you've been increasing rates, getting some new clients in, transitioning from only local to doing online stuff. Um, I know y'all are six weeks in or so, but what's been happening so far? Um, it's been exciting because one of the biggest things we were, we were talking to you about the other day that I never expected is that we're charging more money in the local market. Not in like a gouging fashion, but just like what, I, what we think we're worth. And it's the first time that it's the most we've ever charged locally, but it's also the first time that two, three, four bands haven't haggled. Like no one's been like, oh man, well I can do substantially less if you if we do this many songs or da 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 or like they've just been like, yep, that sounds great. And they seem confident, they seem excited to come to us. Um which has been one of the biggest changes. Zane's gotta plug his computer in because it's constantly <laughs> Um, one of the biggest changes and then also one of the, the more exciting things is we've started working with artists from around the world so we have a client coming in from Ohio that we've just recently linked up with and they're doing a full record and then we have some uh, there's a, a guy we're doing track building for in LA and that's exciting because it's he's using everything for some sync opportunities, um, and we have we have two in the pan right now for Australia, and that's just parts of. I mean, even even from the states, I didn't expect anyone to drive here from Ohio, but yeah, even furthermore, didn't expect anyone from you know Australia to be like, oh man, I would love to work with you guys, and so that's been super exciting for us. Awesome. And we'll wrap up with this. Uh, any advice to, um, you know, producers out there or what advice would you give to yourself six months ago, no, knowing what you know now? Kind of, kind of piggybacking off what I said earlier, just value yourself more. Um, come up with a, a valuable package, obviously for your clients, but then know the value of that. And, and just kind of care, fall in love with the pursuit of, of helping people and trying to make great art. Um, we, we listen to a lot of Gary Vee, and that's what he loves the dirt. And he's, yeah, love the work, and the rewards will be cool. You know, they'll be sweet. So, um, yeah, just value yourself for me. Yeah. yeah, I think just, like, work. A lot of people have, like <clears> – <throat> a misconception of like, oh, well, you know, I talked to two people today and, you know, like I get it if you're, if that's all you can do, but like really to, to do something full time that isn't like a normal nine to five, you really got to put it in. Um, and it's, I think people underestimate how much work it actually takes, but it's super plausible just jump in with both feet and don't stop kicking until you're swimming. Love it. Well, cool guys. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to do this and uh, we will chat on our next call, which I'm sure is coming up soon. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Hi, man. Thank you.